revisiting a bit of history today. We are. <laughs> Our history and Salt Lake's history and uh, just some history here at the Denver and Rio Grande uh, Depot right. in Salt Lake City. It's really neat that Salt Lake City has two magnificently restored and preserved train stations. Right. Including this one. Uh, it was originally built in 1909. Oh, wow. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful building. Now, for all intents and purposes. Is it a circus? Not that kind of intent. Oh, okay. <laughs> For, for all intents and purposes, this actually was the western terminal of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Yes, they did go on to Ogden, but for all intents yes. <laughs> and, and purposes, this was as far west as the Denver and Rio Grande uh, went. But in its heyday, and I remember this, this is the 1960s right here, so boy, do I remember this. Oh, wow. And we'd come down here and, and show people off at the train. My grandfather was forever taking the train. That was an occasion. It was a big occasion. And then later on, the Rio Grande Zephyr oh, neat. departed from here. And I would come down here and harass the train crews. And two different times, I was able to con rides on 5771. Seriously? While they were switching. Ooh. Oh, it was so neat. Unfortunately, of course, eventually it all like so many things, went away. Oh, darn it. Darn it. 5771 today is in the Colorado Railroad Museum in, oh, is it? in Golden, Colorado. And when we go there, I always have to go over and touch it and say hi. Oh, my goodness. But I, I had some wonderful times riding in the cab of this locomotive. Well, that's awesome. Now, not very long ago, about, uh, I don't know, a little over a year ago, I guess, mm -hmm. we came down here for dinner. We did. It was before the pandemic. Before the pandemic, when, when things were going well with restaurants. And there's been this great restaurant in here. Uh, this is the original restaurant that was always in uh, the Rio Grande Depot. Right. But it was under a different kind of management. It was the Rio Grande Cafe. Right. Mexican food and so on and so forth. Right. But they've done a really great job of preserving the old original cafe, a uh, little, little counter cafe in here uh, that was just so fun to come to back in the days of the train station. Right. Now, unfortunately, not long after we were here, they moved their whole operation to a firehouse. Oh, <laughs> uh, heartburn? Heartburn, I guess. Yeah, it is Mexican food. Right. Um, now, this footprint was just so small. Right. And uh, the place was so popular, and you'd wait in line for over an hour to get in here. And so they, they relocated to a gigantic firehouse a couple of miles from here. Right. And we need to get over there and, to go. And, and try that out. Yes. I wonder what they're going to do with this space. Well, it's, it looks just like this. We peered through the windows. We did. And uh, because it's all original and historic, it, not only is it a historic site, it's the home of the Utah Historical Society. Oh. So, um, no, it's not going to get messed with, but it's just sitting That's it? empty. Right. And hopefully somebody will reopen it and put some kind of a cafe back in here. Some kind of venue. Let's hope. Now, as we mentioned before, there's always a huge waiting list. Exactly. And they didn't do reservations, and so you'd sit in this little area just off of the, the waiting room here and sometimes sit here for over an hour waiting for a table to open up. Fortunately, you could peer down into the gigantic uh, waiting room. Uh, high security here. Yes. <laughs> Now, normally, I wouldn't be shooting video in the men's room, but... Uh, I would hope not. 
But it's all the original marble and terrazzo. I mean, the sinks have been redone and a few things. Right. But this is exactly as original as they could maintain it and still have it a, a functional modern restroom. Well, look at that. That's just beautiful. But this is all the original marble that was in here. It, this is just an amazing building. Oh, it is. It is wonderful. And you can come down here just to visit the Historical Society. Right. And that's fun to do. Exactly. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, please pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, you can do that with the, uh, the blue button, which is coming up just now. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with some more train shows. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.